Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss some problems regarding the induction motors. Here, the problem is a three-phase 50H 10-pole induction motor runs at 576 RPM and at full load. Here, the question is what is the slip and frequency of rotor currents at full load? Also, find the rotor speed with respect to the rotating feet. Second, what is the rotor speed at twice full load speed? What are the rotor speed at is twice full? I think this is not speed. Twice of full load slip, I think. Twice full load slip. Just modify it. The solution. Here, first write down what is the given data. It is a three-phase three, three phase induction motor. The frequency of the supply is 50H. And it is a 10-pole machine. So number of poles are 10 and induction motor runs at the speed of you mentioned 576 rpm at full load right what is the slip the first question is the slip what is the formula for the slip generally slip formula is ns minus nr by ns so we don't know ns ns is synchronous speed that is the formula 120f by p here this is the 120 frequency is 50 h and poles are 10 okay 10 poles so here 10 10 12 times okay 12 5 ja, the synchronous speed is 12 into 50 we have the 600 rpm just substitute in the formula that is 600 minus 576 by 600 minus 576 by 600 so we will find out the slip value is 0 0.04 this is the slip and he asked to find out frequency of the rotor current and frequency of the rotor current generally the formula is fr equal to s into f here fr is the rotor frequency s is the slip and f is the frequency of the supply here already we find out the slip value is 0.04 and the frequency is 50 then by doing this we will get the rotor frequency is 2 hz so this is the rotor frequency and next here next question is what is the rotor speed at twice full load slip if the slip is twice and what is the rotor speed so for the second question the new slip is slip 2 is twice of full load slip the full load slip is 2 times slip value is 0 0.04 then the slip is become 0 0.08 okay now we should find out the new rotor speed he will ask to find out the rotor speed. The formula for the rotor speed equal nr into ns 1 minus s. Okay. This is ns. We already find out the synchronous speed that is the 600 rpm. Just 600 rpm into 1 minus 0 0.08. By doing this, we will get the rotor speed is 552 rpm. 552 rpm okay so this is the procedure to find out the problem is like this so first you should find out the slip we require synchronous speed and we have rotor speed use that formula you will get the slip after that the rotor frequency slip times of frequency directly we will get the rotor frequency and the second question rotor speed at twice of full load slip now this time multiply with the 2 with the slip then we will get the slip value then we will find out the rotor speed this is about the rotor speed okay next problem here a three phase 50h induction motor has full load speed of 1400 1440 rpm and for this calculate the following first the speed of the stator field with respect to the stator structure rotor structure 
and second speed of the rotor field with respect to the stator structure and the rotor structure okay so first write down the given data so in this given data it is a three phase 50 h induction motor has full load speed given the speed equal to 1440 rpm first thing and first speed of the stator field with respect to the stator structure first what is the thing so first look at the stator here so first look at the generally this part is the rotor just take it as assume as this shaded part is the rotor and this shaded part is the stator just take it as this is the stator so it will be rotates it will have some rotation so the question is speed of the stator field so generally always the speed of stator field stator field means what is stator field what is the another name rotating magnetic field of stator stator rotating magnetic field what is the value that value that value equal to generally always rotate with the synchronous speed stator field r or r speed of rotor field stator field as well as rotor field both are same that is the synchronous speed that is 120f by p so here the 120f means 50 the number of poles he didn't mention poles but so we can take the poles is like this if the poles is 2 if the number of poles is 2 substitute 2 here then what we will get we will get the speed is 3000 rpm uh, if the number of poles are 4 the speed is become 1500 rpm if the number of poles are 6 the speed is become the 1000 rpm like that okay so always poles are two four six like that this is only even numbers only it is not all numbers if you have a one north pole must and should have a south pole if you have the two north pole must and should have a south pole so that's why i take it so here the 1440 rpm 1440 rpm is approximately equal to the 1500 rpm so i will write the approximately it is rotate with the 1500 rpm okay here the thing is stator rotates with the synchronous speed and rotor field also rotate with the synchronous speed both are because both are same the question is the speed of the stator field with respect to the stator structure so what about stator structure stator structure is always at stator structure speed just to take it as n it is always zero why because stator name itself it is a constant it doesn't have any rotation that's why stator structure is zero and what about what about speed of the stator field and the speed of stator field stator field is always ns that is the 1500 rpm so then the question is speed of the stator field with respect to a stator structure means then the speed i can write like this ns minus n it is 1500 minus 0 therefore it is the 1500 rpm so it rest, it rotates with the 1500 rpm the difference of speeds this is point a what about point b with respect to the rotor structure so what is the rotor structure means nothing but the rotor only so what is the rotor speed we find out rot he given rotor speed is 1400 rpm 1400 rpm and what is the stator field speed so you know the stator field is rotate with the synchronous speed that is the 1500 rpm that is the 1500 rpm then then sorry not 40, 1440 so then the difference between the both the speed ns minus nr that is 1500 minus 1440 we will get the 
60 rpm so therefore the speed of stator field with respect to the stator rotor structure is 60 rpm what about second case second case is look at the second case speed of the rotor field with respect to stator structure so all you know the stator structure speed is the zero speed of rotor field you know the rotor field always rotate with the synchronous speed so therefore the ratio of ns minus zero that means 1500 minus zero you will get the 1500 rpm next second second question again speed of rotor structure speed of rotor structure equal 1440 rpm and speed of stator sorry again the rotor field speed of the rotor field already you find out that is the 1500 rpm therefore the ratio the difference is 1440 rpm so you will get the 60 rpm okay this is about the problem when he is asking to find out the the with respect to the structures and fields then you have to follow this the processor okay so these are the problems are useful i hope all of you understand the session thank you